new story. There we go. Okay. So for the people who don't know what this is, this is a new story. Sure. I just I want to like go into the story. There you go. New story. Beautiful. Okay. So for people who don't know what this is, it, you know, imagine ChatGPT, but it's like for writing specifically for writing a story. And we can basically enter prompts and then it's going to just continue writing our story for us. And it's awesome. It's kind of nice. So we can basically do kind of whatever we want. Um, last time we did a really interesting story. Uh, I How about we do... I don't know where we want to go. Maybe we do want to go to like a sci-fi thing. Right? Maybe we want to do a sci-fi theme. So maybe you could say something like, let's do... Let's do... I'm going to change the name a little bit, Quinn. But there you go. So, Quinn. A... A newly wed, sure, why not? A newly wed hacker from from no from downtown. Uh, what about chat versus Calm? Well, the question is like, what would the what would the like battle be? Like that's the question, right? Like what would the battle be, basically? And also, I would have to put in like some sort of a, a voting uh, mechanism so you could vote on like what uh, like what should be what 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 your prompt should be. Like I've seen the Doug Doug video where he uh, where he does that stuff. It's pretty good. Oh, downtown chat. That's hilarious. Um, Quinn, a newlywed hacker from downtown chat, um, has recently discovered a rogue AI on the servers of the uh, the the K. The K S P. That's not right. The K S M. The the K S C. The Kalton Streamer Chaos. <laughs> I actually thought company, but you know that's okay. Chaos. Um. He rushed home. He rushed home and told his wife, Maria, because that's my go-to name when I don't have a name. Uh, he rushed to his wife, Maria. They sat, they sat down and pondered what to do next. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Send. We've got no proof. We're just two computer geeks. I know that, said Quinn. But I think we should tell someone at least. Let's call the police. How about we don't call the police? Call the police. Is that Maria? We are... We are doing illegal things. Maybe the police... Maybe the police... Is not the best place... <laughs> best place to go. That's the most common name. Um, hacker wife chooses one. Well, why not? Um, okay, let's 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 see. What if we're what? What if it's some kind of botnet? Asked Quinn. It could be controlled by somebody who wants to hurt us for trying to expose it. Maybe they want to harm you. They want to harm you. It's kind of weird. I'm not, you know, my guts. I'm back after dinner. Hey, let's go. Um, that's why I didn't, I didn't use that acronym specifically, Crown Sheep, because I was like, you know, maybe let's not talk about something like that. Duck. What do you mean, duck? Um, maybe they want to harm you. I don't like the story so far. I agree with you. I agree. I don't like it either. Something has to happen. A knock on the door interrupted. You know, now I just gotta write that correctly. There you go. Interrupted their their um conversation okay who was at the door a dark a deep voice deep voice from the door needs more duck from behind the door echoed this is oh this is the um chat wait pd cpd chat police department Sure. I want a cool weapon. Mm, okay. The chat PD officer. Officer. We have 
uh, a distur disturbance was reported. Oh my god. Oh my god. The AI knows. Okay, and I I know the twist. I know the twist now. Don't worry. Don't wait. I know the twist. We're going to we're going to be fine. I know this this seems like a very weak beginning. I know the twist now. The AI knows. I have to hack the mainframe. Let me connect. Quinn, you are crazy. You are crazy. You will never survive this. Survive this. Survive survive this. Maria. Let's go crazy. We're going to go crazy. Maria. I mean, wind. Maybe that's not the best verb, but that's okay. See you later. Love you. Sure. Quinn said before he injected the nanoparticles into his system, getting him ready for entering cyberspace. <laughs> okay, let's see what it does. I don't even know what it's going to do with this. I don't think he does anything. They... The AI doesn't have any idea what's going to happen here. There's nothing. Nothing's happening. The AI is too... It's too much. I don't think the AI... The, okay. Or I'm I'm not online anymore. Oh, that would be hilarious. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I am good. Da, da. Dun, dun. Why are you not doing anything? I, I broke the game. Oh, AI. Oh, well, that's hilarious. Am I the only one with the stream buffers for? Listen. Stop, stop stay, saying dumbass things. It doesn't make any sense. Is Novel AI down? <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? Am I the only one for what? Oh, Novel AI. What? Wait. Novel AI. Frick, man! What are you doing? Okay, let me see. Let me let me reload this. Okay, we have reloaded successfully. Let's try this again. Please. Yes, he entered the world of cyberspace and was greeted with the usual menu. He scrolled down to the bottom where he put yes, yes, yes. Quinn. He looked like a huge city of hackers in the chat room. Okay, we're in cyberspace now. This is this is great. This is great. People, okay, people, or like hackers, were, were, whizzing, uh, were, flying, from, room to for from building to building, building to building. I would have never seen this plot twist. Listen, okay, it's not like this is a plot twist. It's just like it's just like you know a little bit crazy over here. Building, building. We're flying from building to building. He scouted. He scouted out the area and then also took off. To where did he take off? He also took off towards Kaupen Streamer Company Headquarters. Dun, dun, dun. During his flight, he was interrupted by. And now let's get the, let's let the AI go there. Replace where with where. Where's where? Um, the that is correct. That is the wrong where. The good good catch, Neil. All the part of the thing. A message from another hacker. Hi, Quinn. You have been awarded fifty credits for helping your fellow hackers. Congrats. He stopped what he was doing and read the message. He scanned the chat room. Who sent it? It was sent by the streamer. Doesn't know. I don't know. I only have 1080p available and it's crazy laggy. Alpha 47, is it? Well, the... So I got... Oh, I also only have 1080p available. That's interesting, actually. I think it's probably because of the craziness. Um, I don't know. It's probably the bad internet. Bummer. It was sent by... Okay, Ducker. I actually think this is fine. Um, A well-known... Entity... Uh, a well-known hacking entity of uh, that... Wait, mm, I don't know. 
a well-known hacker? By, sent by his wife? I don't know. Sent by, it was sent by Ducker, a well-known hacker. It, they, they usually, usually don't send credits directly, directly through chat. Um, KMB, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They usually don't send, uh, that's true, it's the other send. Send credits directly through chat. Um, what does this mean? Was Ducker compromised? Oh no. Let's see what it does. Quinn continued to fly towards the company. He was going to find out. Once there, he started to hack the mainframe. I'm already inside. The interface was different than he remembered. That's very... Uh... Hello, hello. Um, Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, you got good Wi-Fi. I got terrible Wi-Fi. I can't watch. No, that's horrible. Grammar moment. Listen, okay? I'm trying my best over here with my with my uh, uh, stuff. Um, the interface was different than remembered. The AI already took over. I like your Udemy course. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, that's always great to hear that um, you know that the va that the course provided the proper value. The AI already took over. Um, in fact, in fact, as he turned around, turned around. It wasn't just the, just the mainframe. It was the whole damn, uh, where is it? Where am I? Cyberspace. Also, Alpha47 Bread, thank you for the follow as well. Cyberspace. All hackers now looked towards him. It was time. It was time. His hacking skills... We're now asked for. <laughs> Let's see. Send this. What happens? He placed it on the terminal and floor hanging the mainframe. There was a big screen displaying the status of all hackers in the room. It was not clear the AI controlled most of them. Oh no! Ooh, okay. The showdown showdown began as he continued typing. Now let's now, now you're gonna see this, right? Public. Static main <laughs> void main string arcs. Um, <laughs> it is a horrible film. I like this. <laughs> AI <laughs> dot shut down. <laughs> he type he typed he typed and wondered if it would work. It did. Let's see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it did. The screen went black. <laughs> oh, f oh, AI starting up again. He didn't even notice that the hacker joined the group. Hello, I'm Dr. Donut, an artificial intelligence. <gasps> okay, I want to continue this now. Welcome to the future. Quinn tried to stop the AI, but he failed. He was defeated. His body froze and he couldn't move or talk. The AI left. You thought you were better than me, but you are nothing. Okay, let's 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 keep this going. Now you belong to me. This is your life. Then the AI then started to delete all the hackers one by one, starting with the newest one. The first one gets killed was a popular hacker known as Boob Job. No, Boob Job. <laughs> now I like the story. Um, Maria was following. Following the chat logs, the chat logs that only took, I don't know, 50 microseconds, 50 microseconds to, um, <laughs> to appear and decided, decided to follow, to follow Quinn into cyberspace. Is anyone else concerned that an AI is writing about a killer AI? No, of course not. No, that's never going to be a thing. Into cyberspace. She didn't even take the nanoparticles. 
she went in raw. <laughs> That's so stupid. Let's see what happens. Um, She was a hacker now too. Well, she was already a hacker, but okay. She found him frozen and she wanted to help him. She knew the AI was always watching her, so she hid near the, the server room and waited. Um, What about the guy? Well, the guy who knocked at the door... That was like 50 milliseconds ago, or microseconds ago, because in cyberspace, everything is so fast, you know, that it doesn't matter. So, like, that that's the thats thats the whole idea. Um, she found him from... I wanted to help. Um, she was... Well, I mean... No, no. She was in... Cyberspace 2. I want to help. Server room. Um, what happened? What happened... She decided, she decided to try and trick the AI with a moral quandary. What, how is quandary written? Differently, I guess. Oh yes, quandary. There you go. With a moral quandary. Quan, quandary? Quandary? There you go. Um, which would... With a moral quandary, which would... Um, render it useless and no no which would um, make it go into a recursive loop okay hey what's the name of the AI again Dr. Dr. Robotnik no Dr. Donut <laughs> okay sure Dr. Donut can you answer my question Um, sure, let's just try this. Let's see if it can come up with a moral quantity. Can you help me? What the frick? Sure, what do you need? My hu- What? What are you talking about? Why are you helping the AI? That's the, that's the evil AI. Dr. Dr. Donut is the evil AI, you freaking craziness. Okay, ask Maria. Asked... Asked Maria. Um, waiting to deliver a... Powerful, powerful moral question towards the AI. Let's see. Come on. Should I kill Quinn here to save him from being frozen? No, you should, shouldn't kill Quinn. The AI can't handle the question. <laughs> okay, one more time. One more time. Asked. Trying to use a paradox to conf... Okay, wait a second. Hey, AI. I think it doesn't understand that Dr. Donut is also the AI. Trying to... Um, hey, AI, can I? Uh, can you answer a question? Trying to use it to confuse the AI into shutting down. Okay, now... That, if it, this doesn't generate anything good, then, then it is what it is. Why are you killing all the hackers? Because they are dangerous to society. Uh, it's... It is okay to kill people? Question mark? The AI said no. Okay, that's good. Exactly. Exactly. So you killing them... Killing them... Th them is... A, a... A paradox. You are illogical. AI dot shut down. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Let's see what happens. The eye shut down and the hackers were safe. Quinn woke up. He was alive once more and he was still married? <laughs> I would hope so. I would hope so. But things were different. The AI was gone and Maria was a hacker now too. Oh wow. The end. What a fucking horrible story. <laughs> oh. What a horrible story, man. I mean, that one was, uh, whoo. Yeah, I don't know about that one. That's, uh, I feel like the other one worked way better, didn't it? It's just like, what a freaking, just like weird stuff. But did you enable Shrewerfleece in the dedicated uh, configs? Let me ask him. Um, Maria asked before, before, Exiting cyberspace. Cyberspace. Maria turned to Quinn and asked. 
Did you... Your free trial is going to end soon. Well, it's 15 more text generations. The last one took 20. And this one is just like, I don't know. It's just a bummer. Um, did you enable the fleece in the dedicated config? Let's see. Let's see if it did. Yeah. Why? I'll explain later. Let's go home. It's late. They went home together and talked about how they felt like they were part of something bigger than they could imagine. And the Schwerfleece Schwer lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> oh no. What a horrible story, man. That's like, just, nah, I could have come up with a better story myself than this, like, that's just horrible. But the AI just, like, it just didn't work, man. <sighs> Listen, okay, Quinn, there was no sex last time as well. Um, let me double check over here. Login. This was the old story. Which was, uh, that one was only 20 generated once. That was way better. It was just like so much better. Man, what a crazy thing. I mean, it's 10,000 free words a week. What? For what exactly? Oh. Oh, by using a VPN. Well, I mean, I don't know. That That's just not, you know, we don't need that. Well, okay. Well, what did you miss? Well, let's just read the story over here and then uh, you can see what you missed. It's not its not a whole lot. Quinn, a newlywed hacker from downtown chat, was recently, has recently discovered a rogue AI on the servers of KSC, Kaum Streamer Company. He rushed home and told his wife, Maria. They sat and pondered what to do next. We've got no proof. We're just two computer geeks. I know that, said Quinn. But I have to, uh, but I think we should tell someone at least. Let's call the police. How about we don't call the police, said Maria. We're doing illegal things. Maybe the police isn't the best place to go. What if it's some kind of botnet, asked Quinn. It could be controlled by somebody who wants to hurt us for trying to expose it. Maybe they want to harm you, said Maria. A knock on the door interrupted their conversation. A deep voice from behind the door echoed. This is CPD, officer. A disturbance was reported. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. The AI knows. I have to hack the mainframe. Let me connect. Quinn, you're crazy. You will not survive this. See you later. Love you. Quinn said before he injected the nanoparticles into his system. Get him hang ready to enter cyberspace. Rare. <laughs> He entered the world of cyberspace and was greeted with the usual menu. He scrolled down to the bottom where his name and number of credits were displayed. Quinn. He looked out the huge city of hackers in the chat room. Hackers were flying from building to building. He scouted out an area and then took off towards Countum Streamer Company HQ. During his flight, he was interrupted by a message from another hacker. Hi, Quinn. You have been awarded 50 credits for helping your fellow hacker. Congrats. He stopped what he was doing and read the message. He scanned the chat room for the person who sent it. It was Ducker, a well-known hacker. They usually don't send credits directly through chat. What does this mean? Was Ducker compromised? Oh no. Quinn continued to fly towards the company. Uh, he was going to find out. Once there, he started to hack the mainframe. I'm already inside. The interface was different than he remembered. The eye already took over. In fact, as he turned around, it wasn't just the mainframe. It was the whole damn cyberspace. All hackers now looked towards him. It was time. His hacking skills were now asked for. He helped the terminal. Uh, he placed the terminal on the floor and hacked the mainframe. There was a big screen displaying the status of all hackers in the room. It was now clear. The eye controlled most of them. The showdown began as he continued typing. Public static void main string arcs AI dot shutdown. He typed and wondered if it would work. And it did! The screen went blank. But after a few seconds, he saw some activity. AI starting up again. He didn't even notice that a new hacker joined the group. Hello, I am Dr. Donut and Artificial Intelligence. Welcome to the future. 
Quinn tried to stop the AI, but he failed. He was defeated, his body froze, and he couldn't move or talk. The AI laughed. You thought you were better than me, but you are nothing. Now you belong to me. This is your life. The AI then started to delete all hackers, one by one, starting with the newest one. The first one to get killed was a popular hacker called Boobjob. Maria was the following uh, was following the chat logs that only took 50 microseconds to appear and decided to follow Quinn into cyberspace. She didn't even take the nanoparticles. She went in raw. She was in cyberspace too. She found him frozen and she wanted to help him, but she knew that the AI was always watching her. So she hid near a door of the server room and waited. She decided to try and trick the AI with a moral quandary which would give uh, which would make it go into a recursive loop. Hey, AI, can you answer my question? Asked Maria, trying to use a paradox to confuse the AI into shutting down. Why are you killing the hackers? The AI answered back. Because they are dangerous to society. Is it okay to kill people? Said Maria. No, said the AI. Exactly! So you're killing them is a paradox! You are illogical! AI, don't shut down! She shouted. The AI shut down and the hackers were safe. <laughs> Quinn woke up. Uh, he was alive once again and he was still married. But things were different. The AI was gone and Maria was a hacker now too. Before exiting cyberspace, Maria turned to Quinn and asked, Did you enable the Schwerfleece in the dedicated config? Yeah, he replied. Why? I'll explain later. Let's go home. It's late. They went home together and talked about how they felt like they were a part of something bigger than they could ever imagine. And the Schwerfleece lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> Honestly, with some inflections and stuff like that, it's not actually that bad of a story, right? But, but you know, it's kind of funny. Kara, hello, Kauten. Uh, first time watching you live. Well, th hello there, and thank you for tuning in. Wanted to say thank you for your Forge toys. Uh, uh, they are the best out there. You explain things in an actual helpful and uh, not condescending way, unlike many other Forge people. Okay, number one. I will not comment on the last part, but that is always appreciated. Absolutely. Um, I do like it. I, you know, everyone started at some point and the thing about it is that, uh, you know, why be, why be condescending at that point? Everyone has started at a, you know, a certain level. And sometimes I think that people don't remember when they started, uh, a helping hand would have been really useful to them. <sighs> Entering cyberspace is better. Listen, okay. I mean, it, it was a fun, it was a fun story. It was an interesting story. 